So I allowed that solid, or sorry, that vial from the morphine reaction to sit in the fridge, in the freezer, for an additional day after we added that little bit of ether and then scratched the walls. And you can see that nothing has happened. It's still orange and still no solid forming. So we're going to have to mess with it some more. So I'm going to uncap that. And I'll start by just scratching again, just in case. You know, now that it's all the way at freezer temperature, it decides it will condescend to come out. And it won't. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit it, it's about just a little over two milliliters. We're going to sit and let some of the ether evaporate. But the other thing we can do is we can add a seed crystal. Now, we don't have a seed crystal of the compound that, that we're looking for there, but we do potentially have seed crystals of the other compound, the compound from the cold reaction, which is 46B. It's not ideal to seed it with a different compound, but since I don't have any crystals of the product of the hot reaction, I could think about seeding it with a tiny little bit of the solid from the cold reaction just to give it something to crystallize on. And there'll be so much less of this than there will of the desired solid that it shouldn't introduce too much impurity. So what I want to do is get one nicely formed crystal. And it'll give it a good surface to crystallize on. I'm just going to drop that crystal in there. So with that seed crystal in there and letting some of the ether evaporate, we hope that maybe it will start to come out. So that's all there was, one seed crystal, very small one, right, because I don't want to contaminate it too much, and I don't think the solid is going to be the same. So we'll let that sit. We'll let some of that ether evaporate. And we'll see why that gets us. And then if that doesn't work, we'll do something else.